Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. And this time we are talking about Preptober part two, which is pretty much the majority of my prep for NaNoWriMo being completed. So I have gotten a lot done. I have planned a lot and I just actually finished filling in my character sheets. Um, and the, their goals, motivation, and conflict, and their arcs, the beginning, middle, and end. So you'll see that sprinkled out through here, and I'm going to start plotting today. I still have about 10,000 words left to write in Claymore number two. However, nothing that Steerling and his love interest do in this story toward the end, because I have it pretty much fleshed out how I want it to end, have really anything to do with Kenna and her love interest. So um, I am able to take what I know from the ending of the overarching story of Claymore book two and move it over into book three, kind of to seamlessly. Now with book one and book two in Claymore, it was pretty much back to back things happened. There's going to be a couple of months in between um, books two and three that's going to pass. So I have all that planned and I am so excited to get plotting. But let me show you what I have down on my, my calendar because I have figured out my calendar. I will show you my plan and walk you through you know, how many days I need. So as you can see, this is my overall plan. And I always take Sundays off and I have a wedding that I am going to be involved in um, at the beginning of November. So yay, social distance to weddings. <laughs> but let's jump down here because this is my plan. So I'm taking obviously five days off and those are my Sundays. And then I have buffer days, which I am taking an extra day every week somewhere in here. Obviously these might end up taking more or less. I know I'm not gonna be able to write on this day. I may be able to get some words in on this day because this is in the afternoon. So I may be able to get up in the morning um, should my son agree with me, <laughs> he's cooking him a belly and I'll be 20 weeks at this point. So hopefully he'll cooperate. He has been very kind to me thus far and I'm very excited about that. Um, so total eight days off, nine or 10, give or take that, um, rehearsal dinner. However, in total writing days, I am going to have nine or 10 days off. So that'll give me 20 to 21 days of writing in total. My ideal daily word count is 2,500. Usually it's 3,000 for nano. However, I am pregnant. I'm trying to be nice to myself. So anything over 2,500 would be fantastic. So 50 divided by my total days of writing, which is 2021, gives me somewhere in that 2,000 area. So I decided to round up. So that is how I have figured out my days. Of course, this is Thanksgiving. Um, we may or may not see anybody. <laughs> so who knows? But um, so yeah, that's why I have 25 down here. Again, these days I'm taking off because Sundays are just my rest days and we have five Sundays in this month and also five Mondays in this month. So that is what my current writing plan currently looks like. So sorry if my hands are shaky. So again, this is the Project Claymore book three, NaNoWriMo target word count, the um, more visual, which I do plan on coloring in this year with different colors, the normal word, word tracker, which I really like a lot. Here is my tool list. So, Colored pens, washi tape, NaNoWriMo prep outline, which I am currently working on right now. 
Claymore 3 outline notes from books 1 and 2, which I have most of them. Obviously, Water, I really enjoy listening to ambient soundtracks, and since it is the fall, I always have my Sensi on. I have my camera to vlog, and my ring light and my mini tripod will always be next to me. And I don't have to buy Heath bars because my husband bought me <laughs> two giant Heath bars, which I have stashed for myself. Um, I've hidden them away. So right now, what I am doing is I am writing down my character notes um, for Claymore book three. I am starting this today because I have pretty much finished mapping out the end of Claymore book two. I only have 10,000 words left to write. And I feel pretty confident that I can get all of that done between this week and next week. But what I really needed to start focusing on was since I now have the rough outline of how two is going to end and it really switches into the sister from the brother. So there, there's a connection there, but there's really not a connection because it starts with new characters. I've decided that today I am going to start prepping my outline for book three so that when October rolls around, I can just start. So instead of printing out pages, I just wrote down the questions from the notes pages that Sarah Cannon offers. Um, like what's their deepest desire? What do they truly need even if they don't realize it yet? Um, who is their true self deep down? And then the outer and the inner desires, the goal, motivation, and conflict area, and the character arc from the beginning, middle, and end for both the male and the female characters. So I am going to start that. We'll see you when I finish and when I am able to start the outlining process. Hour later and I am done. I have been thinking about this story for about three months now. So it's been heavy on my mind. I kind of knew where I wanted it to go so it didn't take me that long to write out um, Kenna and Christian's stuff. And it's kind of very much, very much more detailed than I expected it to be. Um, very much more. It's much more detailed than I expected it to be. Um, little things have been coming to me at night due to pregnancy insomnia. So I've been able to kind of add those into the mix. And I'm super excited and happy about the way that it looks and the way that it feels. They're complete characters. They're fleshed out really well, I believe. And plotting this book is going to be super fun. Um, from the beginning point to the end point, I know what has to happen. And, you know, the conflict is there. I'm super excited because this book is a bit of a crossover with my original um, Legend series, which I am in the process of retitling and rebranding. But I was really excited to introduce or reintroduce some characters from that series into this series. And this was the perfect place to do it. And I'm really excited how everything is coming together with the antagonistic group of the overarching story um, to the supernatural world and how the characters from my previous series are going to tie in here. So it's super fun. Um, I guess it only took me an hour to draw all of this stuff down. It came out pretty easily, maybe less than an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and clip this back into my binder and see if I can actually start to plot some of this down. So for my rewards, I have decided that after 10,000 words, I'm going to enjoy a Heath bar or two. 20,000 I'm going to order out from McDonald's because, again, I'm pregnant and my son loves chicken nuggets. Um, 30,000 words order out from Panera Bread because I love Panera and their cheddar broccoli soup is amazing. 40,000 buy some spa self-care things and take an afternoon to myself, which I've already bought the spa and self-care things, which is perfect. And then at 50,000 words when I finish, I'm going to splurge and buy myself the new Rhythm of War by Brandon Sanderson and Hardback. So my rewards are set. Obviously, you can tell I am pregnant because food is a huge motivator. And um, 
yeah, I, I feel like it's valid. So obviously I've showed you guys that I have the character arc pages finished and ready to go. I'm not really going to show those because spoilers, but now I am going to be using these act one, act two, act two, second half and act three pages to kind of plot out what is happening. I'm probably going to need to print off some more novel notes here um, because I'm going to be using pink and blue pens to denote between the two main characters. Um, another thing I do have to figure out, which is usually pretty easy, is even though I'm writing 50,000 words for NaNo and that's my goal, the book length for Claymore is usually 80,000, roughly. So between four, roughly four acts, if you count act two, one, act two, two, or act two, A, act two, B, as two different acts, there's four acts. So got to split it up somewhere in and around 80,000, you know. And of course, act one and act three are shorter than the, the middle acts. So I will have to figure that out. But usually once I outline, um, that fleshes itself out pretty easily. There you go. That is so far what I have prepped for NaNoWriMo. Again, between this week and next week. Today is Tuesday. I have one more Tuesday in this month to go. So I have technically two weeks to get all of the plotting done, which again will take me no time. Um, I've been storing up this book idea for the last, well, for the last trimester when I wasn't able to write anything. And again, I will be writing the final 10,000 words in Claymore book two. And I'm able to do that because again, nothing that Sterling and his love interests do in this book is really going to affect much of the Kenna and her love interest in the next book. The overarching um, storyline for the family has a couple of things that I needed to know, which is why I finished um, the last 10,000 writing it out so that I knew for myself where the antagonists stand at the end of book three and why they would have motivation to start doing what they were doing to characters from a previous book series um, that kind of like intermingles in now. So that is my Preptober vlog number two breakdown. Um, I probably won't see you guys again until the first week of NaNoWriMo and I'm super excited about that. Um, we are super busy with audio. We have never been this busy. We have already finished, I have personally already finished four books. I'm working on a fifth book this week. Weekend is going to be working on a sixth book and then into next week, we'll be working on the seventh book. So I have worked on seven audiobooks this month. It is the most I have ever done in a month. Um, and the only reason why that happened was because when I was scheduling people in pregnancy brain mode in the first trimester, I accidentally scheduled a couple, two books in October, not realizing that I was overbooking myself. But my husband and I have been super on top of it. We've been able to get done so much audio this month. And I'm really looking forward to November when it completely slows back down to normal where we have three audiobooks, three or four audiobooks to do. Um, I think we have about three or four and two of them are kind of smaller. So I'm really excited about that because I'm going to need as much time as possible to really focus on NaNoWriMo and writing. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do any live write-ins this month, this coming month for this year of NaNo. Um, I really feel like I want to hunker down and really work on the process and really take what I've learned from a new editor and implement it into my writing 
a completely fresh novel. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you have a wonderful day and you stay safe and healthy. One love you guys.